Watch out, Max about. <laughs> Day 47 of the Big Brother house, Margaret River. The housemates have been given tasks to do. Some of them did them, some of them didn't. Those who did, get cake. Those who didn't, don't. So, Mark has come to the daughter of whom to talk to Big Brother. Good afternoon, big brother. You good? So, Mark. What have you got to say to big brother? Hey, eh? hey, eh, mate? Me and Matty and a few of the other housemates have been very naughty boys and girls. And we played a bit of a trick on poor Andy. I feel kind of bad. I felt very bad at the time. But yeah. Yeah, we sold them pretty good. Um, basically it involved Jai had spotted that in Matt's ensuite there was a big huge wall mirror and beside the room there was a door in behind that mirror a very small room if you look at all the walls and the layout it would have been just a very small kind of closet behind that mirror anyway he became convinced that it was a two way mirror and then he started to persuade everybody else well try to anyway and a few people, uh, a few people kind of were pretty drunk, got on board, <laughs> and uh, started this whole hysteria around the house. And uh, so it gave gave us the idea to uh, set a bit of a prank where we would use my camera and set it up as if it was behind the two-way mirror, and it all just snowballed from there. Ah, uh, yeah. After a while, we'd done like a mock kind of hidden camera sex scene between uh well making out scene between Matt and one of the girls and um them brushing their teeth in the morning after and stuff behind the two way mirror again and uh, a few hidden camera shots around the house and stuff and yeah yeah we shot it all in one tape with the kind of night vision the night mode on the camera and it uh, it looked pretty persuasive anyway at this stage, we were trying to come up with an excuse to have the tape or because we, we wouldn't be able to get into the the secret room, the locked room, because um, we didn't have a key, so we had to come up with some sort of excuse. Then I came up with the mad hatch idea of uh, me encountering a guy down at the end of the garden with a camera and uh, him running away and dropping the tape, which is pretty ludicrous, but... If you were there, it was kind of how we did it rather than what we did, and we made it work. I was like, down the back garden screaming into the woods, "You game pervert! You game prick!" And uh, give myself dues for a pretty impressive performance screaming into the woods. And then Andy came down the steps. I had to sell it because it was just me and him, and. Uh, I told him that there was a guy there with a camera and I chased him and uh, when I went to chase him he ran off but I uh, I didn't follow him into the dark woods I just stopped while there was light there and uh, noticed on the way back that he'd dropped the tape and uh, <laughs> showed him and I had written Riverwood and put three X's on it and proceeded to tell him that uh, yeah, this this guy had dropped this tape, and uh, I picked it up, and then came the longest ten seconds of my life where Andy just stared me in the face and tried to figure out if I was bullshitting him or not, and I managed to keep a straight face and be deadly serious, and it worked. He ran upstairs, telling everybody, and freaked out. And everybody else, because only about a third of the people in the house knew about it. So everybody freaked out, except for the people who knew. They were just laughing, well, secretly laughing inside. And uh, 
it all just went a bit nuts all of a sudden then Jai came running down the stairs with a baseball bat and would chase Nate into the garden to see could he find the guy and um, <laughs> yeah and Andy wanted to call the police but we persuaded him that there was no phone signal here and uh, I came back in with the tape and we were discussing it for about half an hour before I brought up before Matt brought up he said uh, what what kind of tape is that? And it was like, well, it's a mini DV tape. And he went, it was like, well, your camera's here. That should work, shouldn't it? That might play it. And he was like, yeah, I guess so. It's uh, yeah, if it's SD or maybe, yeah, it might work. And um, so I went and got my camera. <laughs> no suspicions, and. Uh, brought it back and stuck the tape in and play it, started playing it and kind of passed it around everybody in the room and all they could see was this footage of, you know, night mode of what looked like it was behind the two-way mirror <laughs> and like Matt brushing his teeth and uh, like it was hidden somewhere in the room, another camera looking and making out one of the girls and it was just, yeah, it, it looked persuasive and uh, they were shitting themselves and that's when Andy wanted to call the police and he just freaked out and uh, <laughs> it was all looking like a bit like a scene out of a serial killer movie or something no phone signal some guy filming us and leaving tapes around and yeah it was just a bit it was a bit too good <laughs> but you know credit where it's due we saw that fucking prank like a motherfucker nice Perhaps Matt. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this diary entry. It's been nice knowing you, BB. Good night. You might leave the diary room now, mate. So, Matthew, how did your prank go? I think it went too well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Overall? Successful. Working? <laughs> My revenge <laughs> will be sweet. No, I'm not really messing though. We had a fucking great time that weekend. We had quite a laugh. The, uh, the improv was good. <laughs> I've got a third cat! I just wear it on my head! Drinking was good. Hangover was not so good. Crack with something else. And then we got to go see the surfers. Which I'm glad we did. So it looks like a killer surf spot. Union number 3, 130 132 Duke Street, Scarborough. Perk, Australia, motherfucker. And that was Margaret River. Just far south as I got. And then it's back up. <laughs>